there are a few things that you're going to need. First, you're going to need cards, and you, usually you get square cards uh, with four holes that are evenly spaced around the edges. Um, you can get your own made by using a deck of cards, but that takes too much time um, and too many tools. So you can get small cards like these, or you can get slightly larger cards, which are easy to find. Most tablet weavers will number them in the corners so that they can keep track of what card they're moving. Much more advanced tablet weaving includes six hole cards, but we're not going to be using any of these in this series, but there are many patterns out there using six hole cards. This is my favorite type of card. The letters are already in the corners and they're color coded so it's easier to see them as you're weaving. They're a little bit bigger than medieval cards but uh, you can buy these really inexpensively online from a number of different sources. So you'll have to pick yarn for weaving. There are a number of different options and I will go through them right now. The first, this is something not to choose. This is the embroidery floss, the six strand that comes apart. This doesn't work very well for weaving. So while there's lots and lots of different colors of this, this is not a good choice. So I just wanted to show that to you. What is a good choice are other cotton fibers. This is a kind of embroidery floss. It's got a nice sheen to it. It's really pretty. It is a little heavy, but it's great for a beginner. Um, these are some similarly, this is uh, embroidery floss that comes on a spool. Uh, it can weave up or you can uh, warp up about five cards on for each one of these. And it comes in a lot of different colors. These ones run about $3 a spool and it's a nice fine thread. They come in three different sizes, uh, eight, so, or number eight, number 10, and number 12. I would recommend staying away from the 10 and the 12. They could be a little bit too fine, but the eight is a beautiful size and it comes in a bajillion colors. The next choice that you probably want to stay away from is silk. Now the silk, it's a little pricier, but it is so beautiful and lustrous. And if you're doing period weaving, you're going to want to do this eventually, but this is not for a beginner. Uh, you can find a lot of this stuff online. It's not something you can find at your average hobby shop. And I've done some and it turns out so beautifully in the silk. So looking ahead, this is something you might want to invest in, but not for the beginner. A lot of Europeans love doing tablet weaving in wool. In fact, a lot of Americans do too. Um, the wool is, is nice and soft and fluffy and can create a really nice product, but you may occasionally have problems with it snagging on each other. And that's just the nature of wool. Uh, when you spin wool, it has little barbs, hooks that you, with it, when you spin, it, they hook on each other. Um, and that can happen while you're weaving and it can cause frustration. So while this is something you can also aspire to eventually, probably not something for the beginner. Probably the best option for a beginner is crochet cotton. You can find this in a multitude of colors in just about any hobby store. Some stores might be limited in colors, but if you can find lights, darks, and medium colors, anything with a good contrast. So take a look at your local hobby stores and see if what they have there for crochet cotton. Many weavers use this. This is Maysville carpet warp. This is a little bit like the crochet cotton, but it's a little heavier duty and it's meant for weaving and it's super strong. It's actually called carpet warp because it's meant to be used as warp for weaving. It comes in about, I don't know, 87 different colors. You can buy it for about $9 a spool at a bunch of different locations online. And this is, this is what I use for a lot of my weaving. Another option, if you can find this online, these are large cones of this crochet cotton, or it's very similar to this crochet cotton. It's also 100% cotton, easy to work with, shiny, comes in lots of colors, and it's beautiful. 